In this presentation, we can discuss about BU or breakpoint unresolved. Normally, we use BU if you want to put breakpoint before a binary is loaded. In that case, we cannot use BP as we don't have the function address. Although, BP works by falling back to a BU or deferred breakpoint. So, this technique is frequently used to break into the driver entry of a kernel driver or the DLL main of a DLL. Alternative for BU would be break on load event, which we are able to see, and then use a BP. As per the debugger documentation, there are three differences between BP and BU. As a binary is not loaded, BU does not need the actual address of the function. So that is the first difference. Another thing to notice is a breakpoint using BP is removed from the breakpoint list when the binary is unloaded. Also, BU breakpoints we can save with the workspaces of WinDebug, which means that BU we can save across debugging sessions. Now, let's see a quick demo of BU. So, I have a notepad open. The function I would like to put breakpoint is this and if I use BP I'll get this warning because this particular DLL MPR.DLL is it to load so what the debugger has done debugger has added an unresolved or deferred breakpoint we can do the same thing using BU without the warning now I have pressed G so the notepad is running. If I open the file dialog, I'll get the break. So both the breakpoints hit. This is the one we have put through the BP and this is a BU one. So we have a discussed breakpoint unresolved before the binary is loaded we can use BU for giving a breakpoint although BP has the same functionality which is falling back to BU when it fails to put a actual BP breakpoint also we have seen the difference between BU and BP that's it thank you very much